So how to fit a 40 cassette, this is an XTR 9000 40 cassette. It'll work with any Shimano Rode short cage. This is a DI2 9070. It'll work perfectly. Here's this little bad boy here is called the, uh, let's get, let's just, let's, I'll take this off and I'll show you. This is called the Rode Link Linderettes, Wolf Tooth Linderette. And it basically causes an, an extension of your derail hanger. And you can set it at different little things. You can adjust the angle of it so it's pointing out that way. It'll provide more clearance. And if you undo it, you can set the gap in there. All right, so I put it back a little bit and it works really good. Perfect for Everesting. Anytime you want to use, my camera's fogging up. Wow. Uh, anytime you want to use a big cassette for whatever reason on your road bike, 11 speed Shimano, the, this will work with any Shimano road derailleur 11 speed and 10 speed as well. So you don't need a long cage derailleur. Let's get one of these for 30 bucks, slap on on there. You will maybe be careful with your adjusting your chain length, all right? If you're gonna run big, big, you may stretch the derailleur out and snap it off. So just be wary of that. I use this for Everesting, so I just keep it in the, in the smaller ring, no worries. But if you wanna run big, big, then you'll need to probably put a, a longer chain on there. Most bike shops will say it can't be done, but as you can see, it has been done. I've done over a thousand kilometers on this setup. And it works perfect. So find a mechanic or do it yourself. That's the Linda Retz Road Link unsponsored. It does work. And if you want to make it long B screw, if you don't have a long B screw, just go like that. There you go. Saves weight. Saves half a gram off your B screw. If you're running short stock B screw like that, if you're running a longer, uh, sorry, if you're running a long B screw like that, if you're running a short B screw, have it like that, and then just tighten it up. Perfect. Some people might say, why would you put a 40 cassette on a road bike? Look, mate, you come out ride with me, just one ride, and you'll be begging for the 40, motherfucker. Begging for it. And with the 40 cassette, it's 11 speed, but it's a 10 speed diameter, you will need to, this is a Zip 202 with a Zip hub, you will need to put, this 11 speed, this is an 11 speed cassette body, you will need to put a little spacer under there, all right? I found you will need to put a spacer there if you're running 11 speed cassette body, with an 11 speed mountain bike cassette, you will need a spacer because it's just dished differently. With a road 11 speed, you don't need a spacer. With the mountain bike 11 speed Shimano, you will need to run a little spacer there. Take up the slack. Done. Now what sort of spacer I'm using? I'm just using a cassette body spacer that comes with your cassette body. Just stole it off one of the other cassettes. All right, so we need to use. Let us know down below what you've used, what you've had success with. There's a good uh, strong tire as well, Maxxis Refuse.